Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Corvette Ed's Garage, home of Harley Davidsons and Corvettes and Fast Toys. Anyway, uh, the saga continues. We went back down to uh, the um, smog station, and we failed once again. So, um, apparently, I ended up with uh, two issues. One was the fuel pressure regulator, and the other one we'll discuss right after this. Welcome back, everyone. Um, well, as, as I mentioned, uh, we had a fuel pressure regulator issue, which was corrected. It's not running lean anymore. Um, but uh, we also had another issue. And after failing the second time, brought it home. And uh, I kind of kicked myself in the rear end because uh, I, 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 sometimes I just... The car has got only uh, 44,000 miles on it. I think it's 44 now. Um, so I take it for granted that because of the low mileage, really, uh, there's, there's not, there, couldn't not, there couldn't be a problem. But I failed to forget that it's also a 40-year-old uh, car. Uh, or coming up on 40 years. Let's see, 85. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, so, you know, time does take its wear on parts so i tested the egr valve and and it came back negative okay um unfortunately when i had it open i should have tested it at that time not thinking that there was any issue with it but uh uh so i had to pull everything back off uh and actually i had to go a little bit further so this weekend i spent uh every uh, all weekend just working on it uh putting a new egr valve in uh general motors of course uh, i like oem parts um and then slapped it back together so let's uh let's show you how far i got with it uh this this weekend so now you see uh this guy right here well there's my problem right there it's an egr valve uh egr valve what that does it uh it, it, it kind of recirculates the exhaust back into the intake to keep the uh, um, cylinders cool. It, it also it lowers the NOx emission, okay, which is what I tested up, tested high for. So initially, when I uh, thought of the fuel pressure regulator, was an issue because I was running so lean, uh, and basically with the vacuum not hooked up to the fuel pressure regulator. Um, yeah, I wasn't getting all the fuel that I needed, so that caused a lean condition, which did not help the situation. But apparently, uh, there was two issues going on here. So I kind of got uh, blindsided by the fuel pressure regulator uh, and uh, overlooked this. So now I'm paying the price of having to pull this back down. New or new, new set of gaskets, a new set of uh, valve cover gaskets, because um, it's not that easy to um, get to these, uh, this, this here, because have, I have to pull the fuel rail up uh, high enough to get the wrench in there to get these bolts up. But anyway, that's the problem right there. And welcome back to another Blue Tip Time. Welcome back to another Tool Tip Time. Try to say that five times. Anyway, um, uh, just to show you how I uh, tested the um, uh, EGR valve, it's pretty simple. Uh, you want to take a vacuum gauge, uh, something like this. Uh, you can pick something like this up at uh, 
uh, Amazon. Uh, it seems like every time I move, I always lost something. It's another one. Not, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. But anyway, uh, you just set the vacuum gauge up like that, and which I should have done on the car prior to taking it apart again. But I didn't do it. Anyway, so here's your EGR valve. And basically, uh, vacuum, intake vacuum goes into this plug right here. So plug that in there. And what is supposed to happen is um, when vacuum is applied, uh, I usually go about 17, 20 inches. What happens when vacuum is applied, this here is supposed to open up right in here, okay? If you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but as I push down on the diaphragm, it opens up that valve and allows the exhaust, uh, uh, exhaust to go back into the intake. Well, that's not doing anything at all. I'm applying pressure on it. The, vac the diaphragm is pretty much toast. And as you can tell, there's nothing. It's dead in the water. So this was creating uh, a high NOx uh, emission. And so, uh, so that was my second issue. Uh, unfortunate because, uh, as I said before, you you take it for granted uh, uh, the low miles and forget about uh, the actual the actual age of the car. So it's a diaphragm. It's going to go out. It doesn't matter. Uh, um, if the car has low miles or not. But anyway, there you go there. All right, let's get back to the uh, video. All right, guys, there it is. One more time at the uh, smog station. Hopefully it'll pass this time. There it goes. And here's my old... Uh, results okay so now moving on over to the new results and guess what we pass now I, I don't really like the numbers uh what it measured however uh whenever you clear the ecm uh the system uh, has to relearn everything all over again so those numbers will get better as i continue driving the car that's a wrap well, there you have it, guys. Uh, she passed. Uh, I didn't really like the numbers, but then again, uh, I had to cl clear the cl codes on the computer, which uh, when you do that, uh, the computer has to relearn the admissions and all the other stuff that goes along with it. So uh, no big deal. Uh, it'll get better. Uh, now, you know, the. You, you, the thumbnail with the car on fire, well, here's what could have happened, okay? Uh, if this didn't happen, I wouldn't have known about the EGR not working, okay? Now, I already explained what the EGR does, uh, but if it's not working, the temperature in the cylinders uh, get pretty hot, okay? So, when if I wouldn't have took, if, if I wouldn't have found out about this, uh, and then I threw a supercharger on, uh, there could have been a possibility. It could have been catastrophic. Okay, uh, so um, because the supercharger uh, will also do the same, uh, heat up, bring on more heat in the cylinders, uh, and uh, you know I even talked about it to the. Uh, uh, the the smog tech and he was just saying, man, you're lucky. So you could have blown this motor up. Uh, well, you know, uh, sometimes my bad luck is good luck. So there you go there. So uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, do me a favor, please subscribe. Uh, if, if you learn anything, like the video, you know, and uh, you know, if you have any comments uh, or any questions, uh, feel free to comment until then we'll catch you on another episode of corvette edge garage